Okay guys, I just did a little grocery pickup and I'm on day 22 of, what do you call this, quarantine or whatever? That I've been staying, I'm on day 22 that I have been staying at home. Um, I haven't went in any stores in 22 days. Um, everything I have done pick up. So it's kind of hard. I have to schedule it early. Like as soon as I put this away, I've got another um, order I gotta finish that I've got scheduled for two days before Easter. So, and that's, well, I don't know what the date is today. Let's see. It's April 3rd, so this grocery pickup I'm scheduling for April 10th. So if I want fresh fruits and vegetables on Easter and I don't wanna go inside of the store, which I'm not going to, I have to order it now. So I better put my freezer stuff away. I got these waffles. I was craving a waffle the other night and I've never tried these um, thick and fluffy waffles or this French toast. I mean, you see different stuff when you're shopping online. And Walmart pickup has been easier for me to book. So that's where I got most of this stuff. No room in this freezer up here. Luckily we got a new large freezer um, in our garage. What's this? Steamable sweet potatoes. I don't know why I got these because I've tried to order sweet potatoes multiple times and didn't get them. So I thought, well, if I don't get these, then maybe I'll get these. So I have both. Um, I've never had this before. But. So. Oh, and I ordered some organic fruit and they had to substitute it with non-organic. But Walmart's not really good with their organic um, selection. So I got some grapes and some strawberries for fruit. Um, some tomatoes, shallots, got some um, peeled garlic, some organic green beans, some lettuce, cucumbers, some spinach and spring mix, some green onions, and then I got, what is this? cabbage and carrots. I love to put this, it says it's coleslaw mix. I love to sprinkle this on my salads. So I'm not sure, I've got to make a dinner menu and um, that's really holding me back. I think um, we got um, a big delivery of local farm raised beef. So we've got some steaks, roast, um, like 30 pounds of ground beef in our freezer. So I think if my husband got them out, which I don't see them, we will have um, some ribeye tonight. Got some cheese for the kids when they eat tacos and quesadillas and stuff, and then some cheese for a dish that I guess I will make for Easter, which I don't eat dairy anymore because I am lactose intolerant, but I don't know. If I make this dish, maybe I'll have just a little bitty bit. Can never have too much orange juice. We had like eight jugs in our fridge the other day and now we're down to one and a half. So had to get more and some lemonade, but I don't know where I'm gonna put it. We have a problem. Oh, there's more cheese. Where'd this cheese come from? Okay, this is going downstairs freezer. Ooh. I was a little concerned because I never eat non-organic strawberries because they literally gross me out. The Driscoll's brand tastes like poison, like straight up poison. These actually smell like strawberries. I'm not so disappointed with these. So I can't get my hair done. So if you'll have to excuse my really dark roots, um, <clears throat> my scalp is really sensitive to hair color so I can't put my own, I can't put hair color on my roots on my own and they have to be like foiled and bleached and my mom is my hairdresser and she just won't tell me what it is that I need to buy. She thinks that um, if me and my husband do it that I'll like fry my hair off. So I guess I'm just going to be stuck like this. I have a 
about four of these outside and then they're $25. They are Better Homes and Gardens Spotlight. And this one changes colors, but all of mine don't change colors. I only use the white light. Um, it is 120 lumens and they're perfect to like illuminate the whole, um, like from the ground up of my house. Uh, so I have, I think four of them out there and I ordered two, but it said one, there was only one in stock. And you cannot order these online. It's in store only. So I tried to get them with my grocery pickup. At least I got one. I also got like four or five of these little lights at Target. I'll try to link them down in the description. But I use those for softer lighting. Like we got a fountain outside I'll have to show you guys. And um, it was my birthday, my actual birthday present. If you watched my last video, uh, my birthday was kind of crummy. Um, so I actually got this really beautiful fountain and I got these cute, um, these tiny little lights to shine up on the fountain at night and it looks so pretty. Um, so I got this. What did I get? I got some stuff from Target pickup. <clears throat> some Easter, uh, I made a little apothecary jar, which I don't know which video will come first, but I'm going to show that in my spring decor. So I just made some candy in there, just kind of like, I don't have a lot of spring decor stuff and I can't really go shopping. Um, I, I, I did order some stuff from Pottery Barn, like this little bowl I got today and a few other things, which you'll see in my tour. So I got this at my pickup. It was a little garland. Um, I don't know, I guess I was looking at Easter stuff and this popped up, like it recommended this and I was like, oh, that's cute. I, it's so tiny. I wish I would have gotten another one, but I don't know what I'll do with it, but it looked cute online. It was like $1.97 and I got it with my groceries today. And I got some more of these little pastel eggs and these beautiful cookies. They look so good. I'm going to make a little Easter treat board. So I got these um, raspberry truffle cookies and they have like a pretty castle on them and the lemon sandwich cookies and I got these at Target. They're Archer Farms limited edition um, for spring and they are so cute and you might notice my nails. I did my nails uh, myself last night. Actually I had bought um, a pack of nails a while ago before all of this happened because I needed the glue because one of my acrylics popped off and I needed to like glue it down before I could get back to the nail salon. Um, so I found these and I was like, I'm going to put these on because after I picked all my acrylics off, my nails were in such bad shape. Like I had to have something and these are so cute. And I saw some longer ones that were glue on, but I figured that, um, which I saw them online. I was thinking about picking them up at Target today, but since glue on nails, if they're longer, I'd probably pop those off easier. Since these aren't very long, they won't pop off as easy and they're more sanitary right now. And they're just really cute. Um, so they were only $4.99 because I looked them up. So if I need more, I'm just going to order another pack. I want to show you, oh, I want to show you my pantry because if you um, watch my last video, my pantry was in terrible, terrible shape. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've seen, I've showed people that pantry. I've got to redo it. And it's not like one of those pretty pantries where everything looks great because that's impossible because I have to store this food. And there's just no pretty way to do it with the space that I have. So and these paper towels and stuff don't typically go there. I store them somewhere else, but I just stuck those in there. Um, oh my gosh, this does not look organized, but I'm telling you, it's as organized that it could be. There's things in the baskets, um, our plates. Okay, our plates are there. Everything's organized. I mean, everything was literally just thrown in there. And now I've got things like neat. And I know that does not look neat, but it is the best. It could be like, I mean, say I have this big bag of chips, you know, where can it go? There's really not a good place for it. So all the things that there's not a good place for, I just kind of stuff in these things. 
works. I really don't know what else to do with it. So that's that. Oh, and I got my husband his barbecue sauce. He's obsessed with this stuff. It's Devil's Spit. And apparently it's super hot because he only likes really, really hot stuff. So, now that I've got everything put away, I'm going to start on this little Easter deal. finished Easter dessert treat board. It is so cute. These spring cookies are the cutest. I just love them so much. And I was going to unwrap those but I just couldn't get them to look right since we have all those chocolate on the cookies. It would just um, look like too much chocolate so just left them there in the pretty gold foiling. And I just love this adorable bowl that I got at Pottery Barn, and this is a little marble bowl. Oh, there, there's a couple chocolate bunnies in there.